before I get started, I'm going to, this is my first slide, you know, in the presentation that's coming up. And there's nothing in this slide. There's only a letter in the middle. Uh, now, we all want, we are here, you took the test, you got the report. So, you are familiar with SXA, the sequence of SXA, you have taken two steps, okay? So, you, are, you know what it is to, to an extent. Hence, we are here to find out what it actually is further, takes you, right? In the word SXA, the term, there are three actually terms, self, X, analysis. There's nothing to discuss about analysis because everybody knows what analysis is. It's a simple, it's a simple English word. So, we're left with two words, X and analysis, uh, X and self. And on the screen, you see that. You see the X, the unknown, and the self. But now, to get started, this is the first step, okay? I would like your help to help me to get this forward because we need to get this correct, the first step. When you hear the word self, because I have self X analysis, nothing to discuss about analysis, X is unknown. You are left with only one word that we need to discuss self, S E L F. Now, we are all, we have ourselves, right? So, we all have our own, we know what is a self in our own way. But we all may have, I'm sure, this is what's going to happen, but let's see. All of us may not have the same definition. We all understand self in our own different ways. And what is that different ways we need to get, uh, we get to know before we get started. So, I need the mics again to pass around to hear your comments and I'm going to take it on the whiteboard. So, mic, uh, yeah, one mic here. Can we have one mic also somebody here? Uh, so, just stand, stand there. So, Abhinandamundi, anybody wants to speak, go first. You're welcome. How don't I, why do I start with you? You want to, you want to say something? Now is the chance to say as much as you want. But just give me a definition of self, what you understand when we talk about self in your own way, okay? Yes. Sir, in a, uh, a single sentence, I would like to describe self as a, how do uh, we relate our internal core with the surroundings? How do we interpret ourselves? to the world around us, that is the self. Inner yeah. to outer, let's put it, yeah? So, there is the inner world. Yep. And there is the outer world. Yes. And really it is two way, right? So, that actually the, you know, uh, speaks about that the analysis and all these things will come later much on. According to you, that is the meaning of self? Yeah. When somebody has a self or manetaki, so is this what you want to tell me? Yeah, that's it. Okay, fine. Next, anybody wants to take it? How about you, madam? Because we must have some ladies' voice, please. So I want more of them, actually. Myself, I think it is my thought process. Yeah. Yeah. That is carved. Thought process that is carved by by. Yes. That is carved by my environment, my genetics, and my. Gumina. Yeah. That's, is that you? I mean, these are the inputs to you. But what are you, self, is fine. I mean, you can say whatever you want. That's it. You can I add. Really true me, but this is myself, I realize, uh, I understand. You are a product of these. These are the facts. Body. Hmm. Without body, we cannot think of it. We cannot think of? Think of it. Okay. Okay. Any other ladies? How about you, madam? How about you? You run, you do the most noblest, I think, according to me, the most noblest profession in the world. Expression. Please, ma'am. Yes. Expression of? Your own behavior, expression. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Expression of your own behavior. Okay. Thank you. Self alone and self in relation to the whole. Would that be correct? Yes. Okay. What we did just now is this. Would you agree? I mean, this last 10 minutes, 
we had some nine, ten opinions. The exercise we did, I'm saying, is this slide. Meaning, searching, or it's a process, right? Only when you start to ask or seek something, that's truly a first step. But this is an eternal question, you know, that's why maybe nobody has tried to tackle this. So maybe it takes, I don't know what, but we have tried to. Uh, so is it truly possible? I don't know what emerged from here. If you look here, and uh, we, I've already categorized it because we have done massive categorization. So I can see any opinion, we have our categories. So when we said something, it goes into the categories. I'll come to the basic fundamental three categories. I'm in five dimensions as you go. But what we did just now was an exercise in trying to understand the self in a way. As you saw in your report, you said this is your first step towards knowing yourself. But we are going beyond representation, madam. We, are, we have attempted to measure it, create an algorithm, mathematics and physics, and even nuclear physics are involved in creating this. We can talk, but can we use this? I don't think so, what we have right now. I mean, we can discuss, but we need an action plan based on right down to the right, to the, to the lowest level, meaning you need to measure, improve, not only for itself, but for an enterprise, for an organization. Those are the implications. Can this be used for benefiting companies, organizations, society, country as a whole? In a systematic, methodical, measured, objective manner. That was our goal. That was my goal to myself. We ended up doing it for ourselves, and today I'm sharing it to the world. So, we are talking about performance first, right? I mean, if you're in a room or in a class, in a society, in a country, we're always trying to copy who? The successful people, right? The performers, right? They are our benchmarks. So what do performers do? We try to understand that. And one thing that comes out clearly about performers, about leaders is one thing. The leader, let's take Trump. Trump is an example down the road, but Trump is the most favorite topic anywhere in the world today. That guy really knows himself, you know? That's why he gets away with whatever he says and does. You can agree or disagree. I'm not talking politically. I'm just saying as an example, Trump may have said things which are atrocious. Hey, but he is the president of the United States now. Like it or don't like it. It's happened, right? So the point is, any leader, and Trump is a leader, whether you like it or not. He's a leader. He's a president, man. So any leader, good, bad, ugly, whatever it is, performers, one thing is very common among them. They're very aware of themselves. They know themselves very well, as far as possible. They're trying to do that all the time. They know themselves, what are their strengths, what are their talents, what are their profile, what are they good at, what are they not good at. They know very clearly. And you, all of us have bosses and CEOs and leaders ourselves who say, well, this guy really, you know, he knows how to manage his life well, you know. And he knows what to do, what not to do. Most of us are struggling there, right? But some, the performers do. So we look at the performers and we realize one thing, that first and foremost, it starts with oneself. Whether you're a leader, perform anybody, you got to know yourself. In order to know yourself, there are not one dimension, as we have seen, there are multi-dimensions. So there are how many dimensions to take? So after our research, we arrived at five dimensions that more or less makes it holistic. And those five dimensions are motivations. As a leader, as a human being, if I don't know what is my motivation, what is my need, forget about fulfilling it. I'll be running in, need is this way, I'll be running this way. So you got to know your motivations clearly. And motivation is dynamic, you know. As you grow, as you change, your motivations change. But whatever point time you are, and you got in a report, what are your functional, fulfilled, and unfulfilled motivations? All of you saw that, right? Now, as you go along, so in that dimension is motivation. Then is effectiveness in behavior. What is effectiveness? Whenever we do something, it will either give us the result we want, or it will not give us the result we want. When you get the result you want, it's effective. Otherwise, ineffective, right? And most of you are business people, organizations. I'm sure your, your employees are telling you, I work so much, but result does not come. And you say, yeah, so what? Where is the result? At the end of the day, we all have to live by the fruits. A tree which does not bear fruit, what do you do with the tree? You put it in a showcase garden, that's fine. But when you're working as a human being, we need to produce, we need to be effective. Now, question is, how can I be effective? Or the debate comes, how can you tell me I'm effective or not? So we have the attributes to measure the effectiveness. And when you measure, it's like a car. A car has 10,000 parts, actually. No car, all of our cars are not running at 100%, I'm sure, of efficiency. 
I mean, 50 also is running, right? So there is always this range, you know. At 50 also is running, 60 also running, 70 also running, 80 also running, 100 also running. What's the difference? So there are some parts which are running well and some parts which are not. So that is why the total effectiveness would measure. Similarly, under each motivation, uh, under each dimension, there are attributes. When you look at the attributes, so there are seven. Four of the attributes are fantastic, but there are three which are dysfunctional, which is pulling down the overall. Now, not only do you measure, we are giving you targeted intervention. Like on the 34 attributes, you know precisely which one to work upon, okay, as you go along. The other is uh, natural laws. What's natural laws? Natural law, I can give only an example like the laws of physics of Newton. You know, you're on top of a building or any building and I'm walking to the edge of the building and I keep walking. I'll fall and die. I don't like Newton, I don't like this law. Does it make a difference to the law? The law will operate all the time. Whether I know it, I don't know it, I like it or don't like it. Similarly, there are certain natural laws that are operating from the beginning of time and will continue to operate beyond the time. If I'm in alignment with the laws, good for me, my struggle will be less, I will be more successful. And if I'm in conflict with the laws, God help me. Now, fourth dimension, enterprising talent. What is that? You know, worldwide, there is so much of research on entrepreneurial <coughs> behavior. And the conclusion is this, there are eight talent profiles that all of us will fall in, in any one of them. Not all, huh? we don't have all the eight, but eight is a total circle in which somebody is a you know, creative person, the other is a analytical person, right? These are individual profiles. What is your profile? You got it in your summary report. The detailed explanation is in the complete reflection report, which when you see, you can get all the scores and full analysis. But in the summary report we gave you under enterprising profile, what is the function? This is what you are and what you are not. How, you do, how did you do that? 120 questions. Behind that is an algorithm with 2,500 calculations running in a second that produces that result, okay? And actually, we don't do anything. I'll come to that later. It's an inert. My algorithm is actually inert. It's you who puts the input and gets your output. Right? That's what happened. No? You, you answer the question. I didn't answer. So you are getting your subconscious. We have helped you to go into your subconscious, work with you, and take out and articulate your, yourself to yourself. That's the first thing. Know yourself, okay? And the last one is uh, selling and communication skills or communication skills. Without communication, nothing happens. You know, you may have plans, discussion, whatever. And this is a necessary skill at, to succeed in the material world. Somebody asked me, oh, this is not spiritual. No, no, but man does not live by bread alone, but man does, cannot also live without bread also. That's the whole point. So you cannot say, I don't want bread. I want only God or whatever. No, you need both. That's the complete thing. So these are the five dimensions. Under each dimension, there are 34 attributes. So before I continue, I've just put this entire thing into a star. And if I can say in a nutshell, what is life? It would be to know yourself and with that knowledge to evolve towards your destiny. I don't use the word destiny. I call it the purpose in your life. But you cannot evolve if you don't know. So you know yourself on these five dimensions and evolve. And finally, in my conclusion, why it make a star? Because I think in the entire cosmos and everywhere, all of us actually are stars, whether we know it or not. Why? That's how God made us. But today, my barber will tell me I'm a star or not, meaning he knows, my barber knows more about me, my boss knows more about me, my wife or husband knows about me, my driver knows more about me. So everybody is telling me who am I, except the only person I don't know who am I. That's the point, right? Because your assessment, your free will, say, well, let's not, let's take a step back and understand we have 34 attributes that are going to show you. Some are dysfunctional, some are not. You improve the dysfunctional and you can zoom in effectiveness. It's possible. It's like a car. You know more about a car than yourself sometimes, you know. Right? I know I'm engineering friends who knows all about the plant and machinery, but doesn't know anything about himself. So, here are the uh, 34 attributes. Under each motivational factor, under each dimension, there are the attributes. Okay, five, seven, seven, eight, seven. Total 34. The first part is an overview. I'm not getting into the details. So just to get you an understanding on how it is designed, how it is built, step by step. And this is how the system works, SXA. 
We measure, analyze, and diagnose. MAD. That's the first step. You measure, then you analyze and diagnose. In a full report, we give you the analysis and the diagnosis. What you need to do. That's this part. But then once you know, know yourself, then you know to evolve. We have train, fulfill, evolve. We have a three-step training process which helps you to work on those dysfunctional attributes and move towards functionality. That, in a nutshell, overview was SXA. And I will end the first part with this quotation. And there are a lot of software developers here, IT people here. I hope you all agree that if you cannot measure something, you cannot even understand it. If you cannot understand it, you cannot control it. If you cannot control it, you cannot improve it. Anybody disagrees with this? I am happy to hear a contrary opinion. Anybody here who see, feels, no, this is not correct? Without measurement, you will never know. Truly, you will never know. So what step we took with SXA is to help you measure 